Hello students, today we are going to solve one more question from gate 2023 and it's a question number 23. And this question is basically from nuclear physics. In that question, it is given that you have a cobalt nucleus, mass number 60, decaying beta minus particle and she is converting to nickel with mass number 60 and is at excited state that is 4 plus. Okay. This excited nickel is coming to 2 plus state by emitting gamma. Again from 2 plus state is coming to 0 plus state again by emitting gamma. So, we have to investigate that what kind of transition that transition from 4 plus to 2 plus what kind of transition it is and also 2 plus to 0, 0 plus what kind of transition it is that we have to see. Okay, that you have to see. Okay, so if you, uh, we have discussed in nuclear physics that if you have L value, angular momentum of emitted photon or emitted gamma particle, if it is taking value on 2, 3 and so on, on is representing, representing on is representing dipole transition. Okay, and then two is representing quadrupole transition. Quadrupole transition. Three is representing octopole transition, and so on. So first, we have to calculate that L values. If I had to, uh, now. So, it means first of all, I should mention that E1, E2, E3, that electric dipole moment, electric, sorry, electric transition. E1 means electric dipole, E2 means electric quadrupole, and E3 means electric octopole, and same is true for magnetic also. M1 means magnetic dipole, magnetic quadrupole, magnetic octopole, and so on. So, to investigate this hot kind of transition, uh, this actually, you have to calculate first L values. So, if you have a state like 4 plus 2, 0 plus transition, that possible L R, L values are from 4 minus 2 to 4 plus 2. And that will be 2, 3, 4 up to 6. And of course, I can see there is no change in parity. So, when there is no change in parity, even L will be allowed for electric, I mean you will get E2, E4, E6 and so on. E2, E4, E6 and so on. And odd L are allowed for magnetic. So this will be your M3. So for this transition, many, uh, uh, many uh, possible L values are there. But according to given option, we have only 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 on L values are given for this transition. So that's why for this transition that uh, uh, we'll have many L values, but according to given option, we'll have only on L values they are given. So that's why it's not correct because you have many uh, transitions are allowed there. However, if you see the transition from two plus to zero plus, that possible L values will be only 2 and there is no change in parity. So, of course, that 
even L that will be corresponds to E2. And that is basically representing electric quadrupole types. Electric quadrupole. Okay, so for this transition, many uh, L values are allowed, but according to given option, only one uh, option are allowed. I mean, that's why most probable transition, I mean, I mean, given according to given option, that there is only one transition allowed for 2 plus to 0 plus state, and for that, angular momentum of photon will be 2, and there is no change in parity, so that corresponds to E2, and E2 represent electric quadrupole transition. And that is perfectly matching with option C. Okay. So, thank you.